So in here we have our we have our actual breeding set up. Welcome to Frog Central, comfy, cosy quarters and ripe conditions for breeding. We set up some uh, frog calls that call at night as well, just to get them in the mood. Yeah, it works. Um, it does work. <laughs> works very well. When we visit, though, there's no coaxing required. The amphibian facility at the University of Newcastle is home to Michelle Stockwell's breeding stock of the endangered green and golden bell frog. They range everywhere from all green to all brown to, to all those sorts of um, splotchy, speckly, swirly colours in between. They're really beautiful. It's all systems go here, but to see where the work really counts, we need to travel to the northern side of Kurigang Island near Newcastle. Six months ago, 600 tiny frogs were released on National Parks land. BHP Billiton has established a trial site as part of its conservation commitment and is working with Michelle to try and save the species. They've really um, undergone a, a massive decline in both abundance and distribution and, and they're up against so many threats that I really just wanted to, to have an opportunity to, to do something beneficial for the species. So far the signs are good. We spot frogs sunning themselves and whiling away the day among the reeds. They're big and healthy. They're not easy to catch but this scientist is well practiced. She can identify each one through a microchip. That's her personal ID. She's measured and weighed, and encouragingly, this healthy specimen has doubled in size. Michelle also checks for signs of the deadly amphibian citrid fungus. The, the fungal infection actually infects their skin, and so just by rubbing, rubbing a swab over their, over their skin. In another positive, it hasn't been detected. The frog's development will be monitored for some time yet, and hopes are high. The ultimate goal is to, is to use this trial site to guide future habitat creation projects. There's a lot of passion in what, in what, in what Michelle does, and, um, as well as a lot of experience, and we're certainly benefiting from that as part of the work. Michelle has won worthy acclaim for her scientific skills, but as we leave, I can't help but wonder if she's also experimented with a fairy tale kiss, perhaps in search of a prince. No, absolutely not. That would be highly inappropriate. <laughs>